Caitlin Roman is with us now exclusively along with her parents, Michelle Gill and Emilio Roman, and her attorney, Jose Baez. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Caitlin, I'll start with you. You're just 13 years old. You just had a birthday. What have you learned through this experience? Well, I learned that it's not okay to bully and you should stand up and talk. And when you have a chance, stand up to bullies. When you look back at what happened in this case, I'm sure you're relieved that these charges have been dropped. But when you look back at how you conducted yourself, do you feel you did anything wrong? No. No, you do not? No, I did not feel I did anything wrong. Let me bring mom and dad in here. Uh, I think this is just such a tragic case. Michelle, how do you feel not only about how the, the charges were brought in this case, but also the conduct of everybody involved? Um, I would love to speak. What is the question? How do you feel about the charges being dropped? Are you relieved? I'm, I'm very relieved and it, it's been a horrible experience for me and my daughter and my whole family. What's your message to other parents? That this can happen to any child in America and we, we have to make sure that we watch our children's Facebooks. But this can happen to anyone, not just my daughter, it could have happened to anyone. Amelia, what do you feel happened in this case when you have looked back now and, and seen what went on between these girls and ultimately Rebecca, as we know, took her own life? What do you think happened here? Well, you know, first of all, I feel horrible about what happened to Rebecca. Uh, I knew Rebecca. She's a very nice girl. And, um, but I, I don't know, you know, it was basically just they had a confrontation in school, they had a fight, and then it was over with. And then to actually turn around and say that she bullied her and all this other stuff, they said that it was totally uncalled for. It was uncalled for the, the uh, Grady Judd to go up there and throw her picture up there and people coming to my house and, and trying to come and threaten my family, threaten me on the phone, threaten me at my house, threaten me. I mean, it was just crazy uh, the way he did that. and. And, uh, and then to put her with all the saying that they were saying about drink, bleach, and die, Katie never said any of that stuff. None of the stuff that he put up on there did he say. You're talking that about she's the, the, the sheriff. Me, that she knew. Yeah, the sheriff that made those allegations. Very quickly, Jose, let me bring you in on this. You said yesterday the sheriff should get a good lawyer. Do you intend to sue him? Well, at, throughout this time, we were concentrating on Caitlin. Uh, however, the family is extremely disturbed and they want to look into any and every possible remedy at their disposal. So that's something we're going to, of course, look into for them. I, I think his conduct was reprehensible and, and I'm glad uh, Caitlin has the opportunity to stand forward today and say I'm innocent. Well, Caitlin and Amelia Roman, Michelle Gill, thank you so much. Jose, good to see you as well. We appreciate it. Good to see you, sir.